and Craig Emerson. Yes, we'll keep an eye on that shot. But uh, do you think that the Turnbull government, uh, on some of the indications, early indications, is taking a different approach to the Abbott government when it comes to reaching out to the Senate crossbench? I, I referred to staffing, etc. Do you think they get it? Uh, I think so. Um and again, going back to reaching across to Labor, I see some positive signs there. Then the next day, there's a sort of uh, an attack on Labor for not supporting a bill that the government hasn't even uh, prepared or shown it. So I think they're going through a bit of a phase of trying to work out what is the right balance. I mean, let's, I'm not talking about fairy floss here and, uh, you know, rose-coloured glasses. We do uh, operate what is called a uh, adversarial parliamentary democracy, that is, with an opposition, a very active opposition, but hopefully not opposition for the sake of opposition. In managing the crossbenches, they're going to have to do that in both the House of Representatives and the Senate uh, for this reason, that um, the majority in the House is only one. Um, you, you don't need uh, you know, too much trouble if one of those or two of your backbenches doesn't like a piece of legislation. In fact, you probably wouldn't put it forward in those circumstances because Greg, you, the ABC and all other journalists would be reporting, you know, a very big event and that is that the government didn't have a majority on a vote in the House of Representatives. As you know, I was in the Gillard government. That would have been a disaster because the media is all ready to say in those circumstances the government's no longer viable, it should call an election. It never actually happened because the negotiations meant that you either got the support of the independents and put the bill through or you didn't and therefore did not introduce that particular piece of legislation. Julia Gillard did a lot of that negotiation. Yes, officials in uh, Malcolm Turnbull's office will play a role. But in the end, Malcolm's going to have to do a surprisingly large amount of direct negotiation, both with Labor and also with the crossbenchers in the House of Representatives and the Senate. It's very time consuming. Yep, and it does take a deft touch, just as you're talking to us there, Craig Emerson. You may not be seeing it, but we ha are here in Canberra. The members are about to make their way over to the Senate.